last class uh, we did problems on length of chord so today we have one more important problem on length of chord so we'll finish that and we'll go to the next topic so the next problem is the line y is equal to mx plus c and the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square intersects at a and b then the condition is given here ab is equal to 2 lambda show that c square is equal to 1 plus m square into a square minus lambda square okay so here the line y is equal to mx plus c intersects the circle that means this will draw the circle okay this is the circle the line y is equal to mx plus c intersects the circle at two points so those two points are a and b now that means y is equal to mx plus c is nothing but the chord of a circle y is equal to mx plus c is nothing but a chord of a circle x square plus y square is equal to a square so what we do first we write the equation of circle x square plus y square is equal to a square now what is the center center is 0 comma 0 and r square is equal to a square then r value is a so we have center and radius now ab is equal to 2 lambda that means the length of chord ab is equal to 2 lambda means the length of chord ab is given as 2 lambda so here length of chord is given to us so what we do is we have radius and now we find out d what is d d is the perpendicular distance from center to the chord so before finding d we will write equation of chord equation of chord what is equation of chord y is equal to mx plus c equation of chord is y is equal to mx plus c rewrite the equation mx minus y plus c is equal to 0 okay so now from the equation the a value is m a value is m b value is minus 1 and c value is c so what is length of chord it is mod of ax1 plus by one plus c by under root of a square plus b square so this is length of chord now this length of chord is given as 2 lambda c ab is equal to 2 lambda ab is nothing but length of chord so length of oh sorry, length of chord is 2 lambda so don't equal to 2 lambda first we will find out d so d is equal to a value what is a value m into x1 is 0 b into y1 is 0 c value is c y under root of a square plus b square sorry b value is minus 1 a square plus b square c i will repeat first we find out d value d value is a x1 plus b y1 plus c y under root of a square plus b square a is m and x1 y1 is center okay c is minus 1 x1 y1 is center and what is c value it is c so it is plus c plus c by under root of a square plus b square now we got the value of d just simplify this d so d is equal to d is equal to c by under root of m square plus 1 okay so d is equal to c by under root of m square plus 1 after getting d now we write given what is given length of chord 2 into under root of r square minus d square is equal to 2 lambda this is given to us so 2 2 you can cancel square them on both sides r square minus d square is equal to lambda square after that in substitute r value is a so a square minus d value so this is d what is d d is nothing but c by under root of m square plus 1 so d square will become c square by m square plus 1 is equal to lambda square we substituted d value when we square d this will become c square by m square plus 1 now what we do will simplify this a square into m square plus 1 minus c square by m square plus 1 is equal to 
lambda square. Here we took MCM. Now cross multiply the denominator. A square into M square plus 1 minus C square is equal to lambda square into M square plus 1. Now what we do is M square A square into M square plus 1 lambda square into M square plus 1. We bring together that means transpose on the left side. A square into M square plus 1 minus lambda square into M square plus 1 is equal to C square. So now we can take m square plus 1 form. We can take m square plus 1 form. If we take m square plus 1 common, we get a square minus lambda square. a square minus lambda square is equal to c square. C square. So it is proved. Okay, I'll just repeat this. See now the line y is equal to mx plus c e and the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square intersect at a and b. Intersect at a and b means y is equal to mx plus c is a tap, is a part to the circle. Now and a b is equal to 2 lambda. That means length of chord is given as 2 lambda. So here we find out length of chord and equate to 2 lambda. So for finding length of chord, we need center radius and perpendicular distance. So center is 0, 0, radius is A. And D, perpendicular distance, we got it as C by under root of M square plus 1. Then after that, what we have to do is, length of chord 2 into under root of R square minus B square will equal to 2 lambda. Here, if you square them on both sides, root gets eliminated. So R square minus B square is equal to lambda square. Then we will substitute the values of R and D. Then we will simplify, we will get the condition. Okay. So this problem is completed very very important. So next is, problems on the chord is over now. So next is, the condition for the line is a tangent to the circle is radius is equal to perpendicular distance. That means, if a line is tangent to the circle, if a line is tangent to the circle, condition is radius is equal to perpendicular distance. That means now if a line is tangent to the circle now this is a circle. Tangent. What is a tangent? If a line touches the circle at one point the line is a tangent. Now suppose if we draw some O to P. Draw one perpendicular from O to P. This OP is called, this OP is called radius. This OP is called radius. The same OP, if we refer with respect to the tangent, the same OP, the same radius, if we refer with respect to the tangent, it is called perpendicular distance. OP is a radius. The same OP, if we refer with respect to a tangent, which is touching at a point, then this is nothing but the perpendicular distance from center to the tangent. So that is called the perpendicular distance. So that means the distance is same. OP is radius. OP is also a perpendicular distance. That means if a line is tangent to the circle, then what is the condition? Radius is equal to perpendicular distance. That is it. The condition that the line is a tangent to the circle. If a line is tangent to the circle, you have to remember that radius is equal to perpendicular distance. Okay. Now we will do problem. So next problem. Find the equation of circle with center 2 comma 3 and touching the line 3x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. So here 3x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0 touches a circle. So what is this 3x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0 called? It is nothing but a tangent. See here. Now, this is circle 3x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0 touches a circle. So, it is a tangent. And what is the center they are given? Center is 2 comma 3. Okay. So, here center is given. Tangent is given. We have to find out equation of circle. To find equation of circle, we need center and radius. Okay. So already center is given to us. So now we will find out radius. How to find the radius? Solution. 
the equation of tangent or the equation of line. Equation of tangent, equation of line, both are same. So that is 3x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. So 3x minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0 is tangent to the circle. So it is nothing but radius is equal to perpendicular distance. So radius is equal to perpendicular distance is ax1 plus by1 plus c bar under root of a square plus b square. So r is equal to abc values we take from the line and x1 y1 is a center. So it is 3 into 2 minus 4 into 3 plus 1 by under root of 3 square plus 4 square in mod. So r is equal to 6 minus 12 plus 1 by under root of 25 is 5. 9 plus 16 25, root 25 is 5. So now what is r value again? So r value is r is equal to r is equal to 6 minus 12 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 1 is 5 so 5 by 5 is 1 so radius is 1 after getting the radius now we find out the equation of circle with center a comma b and radius r is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. Equation of circle with center a comma b and radius r is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. Now the center 2 comma 3 will substitute instead of a and b and r value is 1. So x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 1. Now we will expand this. x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 minus 1 is equal to 0. The constant also will transform the other side. Now what we get? x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y. 4 plus 9 13. 13 minus 1 is 12 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of circle. Find the equation of circle. Find the equation of circle with center minus 3 comma 4 and touching y axis. So here we have to find out equation of circle. Center is given to us. We have to find out equation of circle. Center is given to us. So we need radius so that we can find the equation of circle. So the condition to find the radius or the equation of circle is the equation of circle with center minus 3 comma 4 and touching y axis. Circle is touching y axis. Circle is touching y axis. So here, circle is touching y axis means y axis is the tangent to the circle. Okay. So now here we need to find out the equation of y axis. We need to find out which is already. We already know that what is equation of y axis. What is equation of y axis? x is equal to 0. So, the equation of tangent. The equation of tangent. Equation of tangent touches y axis. Therefore, I will write the equation of tangent as x is equal to 0. Equation of tangent is x is equal to 0. From this equation, we have to find out ABC values. That means A value is coefficient of x. We don't have y term. So B value is 0. And we don't have a constant. C value is 0. Why we are finding ABC values? Because the line is tangent to the circle. If a line is tangent to the circle, the condition is that radius is equal to perpendicular distance. So radius is equal to perpendicular distance is ax1 plus by one plus cy under root of a square plus b square. This is r. So r is equal to ax1 1 into center is minus 3 comma 4. See I write it here. Center is minus 3 comma 4. So 1 into minus 3. Okay. 1 into minus 3. And b value is 0. c value is 0. 0 into anything is 0. 
so we left with 1 into minus 3 by under root of a square plus b square. Okay, a value 1, b value, a value is 1 and x1 is minus 3 and we don't have uh, b and c as it is 0, we are not substituting. So what is the radius we are getting? If you remove mod, r value is 3 units. After getting r, we find out equation of circle. So how to find the equation of circle? The equation of circle is nothing but x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. So x minus a, a is the center, it is minus 3, so center is minus 3 comma 4 plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to r square, r value is 3, 3 square. So now we expand this, we will get the equation of circle. That is x square plus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 8y plus 60 minus 9 is equal to 0. So we rewrite this equation, we get x square plus y square plus 6x minus 8y plus 9 minus 9 cancels plus 16 is equal to 0. So what is the equation of circle? x square plus y square plus 6x minus 8y plus 16 is equal to 0. So this is completed. So next question. Find the equation of tangents to the circle x square plus y square minus 8x minus 2y plus 12 is equal to 0 at the points whose ordinates are 1. So here what are ordinates? Here what are ordinates? Ordinate means y. Ordinate means y. Axis are means x. See suppose you have a point called x comma y. So what is this x called? Axis are. What is this x called? Axis are. And what is this y called? This y is called ordinate. O R D I N A T E. Ordinate. So here we have to find out the equation of tangent to given circle. The point is he has not given x comma y, but instead of x comma y, they gave y is equal to one. So what we do? First, we'll write down the equation of circle: x square plus y square minus 8x minus 2y plus 12 is equal to zero. Now, ordinate means y. I'll substitute y is equal to one in this equation. So we get x square plus y minus 8x minus 2. See, I am substituting y as 1 minus 2 plus 12 is equal to 0. So we get a quadratic equation x square minus 8x. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 12 is plus 11 is equal to 0. Okay, so we got a quadratic equation. Now from this quadratic equation, we will solve this quadratic equation. We will solve this quadratic equation and we will find out the value of x. So here, to solve this quadratic equation, I will apply the formula x is equal to minus b plus r minus under root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a. I will substitute in this. So here, a value is 1, b value is minus 8, c value is 11. So x is equal to x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square. b square is 64 minus 4 ac. 4 ones are 4, 4 elevens are 44 by 2a. 2 into 1. See, minus of minus 8 is nothing but we can write as just h. So what we get is 8 plus r minus under root of 64 minus 44 by 2 into 1. So now we we'll solve this quadratic equation. So here it is x is equal to x is equal to 8 plus r minus 8 plus r minus root 20 by 2. Root 20 by 2. So root 20 can be written as 8 plus r minus e. Root 20, we write it as 4 into 5. This is nothing but 2 root 5. 4 into 5 square root of 4 is 2. So we write it as 8 plus r minus 2 root 5 
by 2. Okay, so we can take 2 common in the numerator. So x is equal to 2 common. 4 plus r minus root 5 by 2. So 2 to cancel. So x is equal to 4 plus r minus root 5. So now we got the value of x. Now to find the equation, we have to find out the equation of tangent. So equation of tangent is nothing but s1 is equal to 0. So to find out s1 is equal to 0, we need x1 and y1. So we got the x value. So we have two points. One is point P, 4 plus root 5 comma 1. From where we got that one? Ordinate is 1. So y value is 1. And we have one more point. What is the other point? 4 minus root 5 comma 1. This is the other point. Now we find out the equation of tangent using these two points. With s1 is equal to 0. Now we find out the equation of tangent. What is equation of tangent? It is s1 is equal to 0. s1 is nothing but xx1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. So here first we will take the point x1 y1 as 4 plus root 5 comma 1. So x into x1 that is 4 plus root 5 plus y into y1. y1 is 1. We are taking first p. Plus g value from the equation of circle. G value is minus 4. F value is minus 2. G value is minus 4 into x plus x1. 4 plus root 5. F value is minus 1. Y plus 1. And C is 12. Plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay. So now let's we'll simplify this equation. So we get 4x plus root 5x plus y. 4x plus root 5x plus y minus 4x minus 4x minus 16 minus 4 root 5 minus 16 minus 4 root 5 minus y minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now after multiplying here plus 4x minus 4x cancels. So after so here, now we will simplify this, root 5x as it is, root 5x as it is, after that, minus 16, minus 1, minus 17, minus 17 plus 12 is minus 5 and this minus 4 root 5 as it is, is equal to 0. Now we will take root 5 common from this equation. If we take root 5 common, we get x minus root 5 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, after that, after that, we have x is equal to root 5 plus 4. After that, what we get? See, so root 5 common. Root 5 goes to denominator. 0 by 3 will become 0. So x is equal to transpose these two terms on the other side we get 4 plus root 5. Okay. After that you have one more point. What is that other point you have q? What is q we have? We have 4 minus root 5 comma 1. So with this point you try to find out the equation of circle using s1 is equal to 0. You get the second equation. So this completes a problem. Okay. You try that one. Next, we will do a similar type of problem. Okay. So, find the equation of tangents to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 10 is equal to 0 at the points whose axes are r1. Here, axis are means x value. So, first we write down the equation of circle. The equation of circle. It is x squared plus y squared minus 10 is equal to 0. This is the equation of circle. Now, given. What is given? It is given that axis i is 1. Axis i means x. x is equal to 1. Now, we substitute this x is equal to 1 and we find out the value of y. So, that is 1 plus y squared minus 10 is equal to 0. So, y squared is 9. So, what is y value? It is plus r minus 3. Now we got two points. Point P is nothing but axis of 1, 3. 
and q is 1 comma minus 3. So here we have to find out both the equations of tangent. One equation of tangent using 1 comma 3. The other equation of tangent using 1 comma minus 3. So we find out the equation of tangent. The equation of tangent to the circle S is equal to 0 at x1, y1 is S1 is equal to 0. Now we write the notation of S1. It is xx1 plus yy1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0 is a notation. Now what is the point we are taking? 1 comma 3. So just I will go down there. It is 1 comma 3. Okay. So now we will substitute. We will substitute in the equation of tangent. That is x into x1. What is x1? 1. Plus y into y1. y1 is 3. And g r2. See here we don't have x term y term. See I mean x and y means we don't have first degree terms. That means g value is understood to be 0. So 0 and anything is 0. And f value, y term is not there. First degree term y is not there. So it is understood to be 0. So 0 into anything is 0. And finally what is c? c is nothing but minus 10. So you write minus 10 is equal to 0. So now what is the equation of tan? It is x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0 is the equation of tan. One more tangent, one more equation of tangent you find out using the point 1 comma minus 3. See, same notation you write down. Only the point is 1 comma minus 3. You substitute, you get one more equation of tangent. So, this one is a problem. So, next problem. Find the equation of tangents to the circle. x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 which are parallel to the line x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. Here the tangents are parallel to the line. That means we have to find out equation of tangents to the circle. So this is one tangent. This is one more tangent. And one more line is parallel to the tangents. What is that line? It is x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0 is parallel to the tangents. So, we have to find out these two equations of tangents. It is given that these two tangents are parallel to x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. So, first what we do? We find out center and radius of the circle. So, what is the equation of circle? x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. So, center. What is center? It is 2 comma minus 3. Center is 2 comma minus 3. And what is radius? It is under root of g square plus f square minus c. g square plus f square minus c. So r is equal to we get 5 units. So radius of 3 one. Now what is x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0? Given x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0 is parallel to the required tangents. See, parallel to the required tangents. Required tangents means we have to find out those tangents. Since this line is parallel to the tangent, we are assuming let the equation of tangent we assume as C. If two lines are parallel, homogeneous parts will be same. It differ by a constant. So I write it as x plus y plus k is equal to 0. It has equation 1. Because two lines are parallel, homogeneous parts will be same in, in case of parallel lines. So x plus y minus a. So I, I take the required tangent as x plus y plus k is equal to 0. So I am assuming the tangent as x plus y plus k is equal to 0. Now we have to find out k. How to find the value of k? So here we have to use the condition of tangent. If a line is tangent to circle, radius is equal to perpendicular distance. So here, how to find k? Here, how to find k as x plus y minus 1, x plus y plus k is equal to 0 is a tangent to the circle. 
it has to satisfy radius is equal to perpendicular distance. So here I use this condition that is radius is equal to perpendicular distance. Why I am using radius is equal to perpendicular distance because x plus y plus k is equal to 0 is a tangent to the circle. If a line is tangent to the circle, the condition is radius is equal to perpendicular distance. Using this, we get the value of k and we will substitute back to equation 1. So, what is radius? Radius is pi and perpendicular distance is ax1. What is x1? It is center 2. abc values from the line b into y1 minus 3. ax1, a is 1. B is 1, C is K by under root of A square plus B square. Coefficient of X is 1, coefficient of Y is 1. A, B values and C we are taking from this equation. Substituting perpendicular distance form. So now we get the value of K. So now it is pi is equal to 2 minus 3 plus K by root 2 in mod. So what we get now, we write it as a minus 1 by root 2 is equal to 5. Next, mod of k minus 1 is equal to 5 root 2. Now, remove the mod. So, what we get? If you remove the mod, we get k minus 1 is equal to plus r minus 5 root 2. a minus 1 is equal to plus r minus 5 root 2. So, what is k? It is 1 plus r minus Minus 5 root 2. Now after getting k, what we do? We will substitute back to the equation 1. That is a required equation of tangents. So substitute k in equation 1. So I will substitute the value in this equation 1. We get x plus y plus x plus y plus k value is 1 plus r minus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 is the required equation of tangents. So, next problem find the equation of tangents to the circle x square plus y square plus 2x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0, which are perpendicular to the line px minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, here the tangents are perpendicular. We have to, sorry, we have to find out the tangents which are perpendicular to the line dx minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. So first what we do, we will write down the equation of circle. x square plus y square plus 2x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Center minus 1 comma is the center. Radius it is under root of g square plus x square minus c. So r is equal to it is root 5. R value is root 5. Now, after getting the radius, let the let the equation of tangents we are assuming, see let the equation of tangents perpendicular to perpendicular to 3x minus y plus 4 is equal to 0 is now we have to write an equation of tangent which is perpendicular to 3x minus y plus 4. So how to write a line which is perpendicular to a given line? Interchange the coefficients. Okay. Interchange. See. Interchange the coefficients and change the sign of the middle one. Okay. That means what will be the equation of tangent if they are perpendicular? That means it is x plus 3y plus k is equal to 0. See, x coefficient is 3. Right to the, you write it as, you write this x coefficient for y. And y coefficient is 1. You write it for the x. And change the sign. If it is minus, you write plus. If it is plus, you have to write it as minus. So here, I am interchanging x coefficient and y coefficient. See, here x coefficient is 3. y coefficient is minus 1, no doubt. But you take it as positive value 1. Interchange them and you change the sign. If it is minus, you put plus. If it is plus, you put minus. Now minus is there and change it as plus. Put it as equation 1. Now 
x plus 3y plus k is equal to 0 is a tangent. In this we have to find out k. As this line is a tangent to the circle, we have to use the condition of tangency. Condition of tangency means radius is equal to perpendicular distance. So what is radius? Radius is root 5. Perpendicular distance is ax1. Sorry, ax1. A value is from equation 1. 1 into x1 y1 is always center minus 1. 1 into minus 1 plus 3 into 1. ax1 plus b y1 plus c. C is nothing but k by under root of a square plus b square. Okay, a square plus b square. So root 5 is equal to mod of minus 1 plus 3 plus k by root 10. So just cross multiply. Root 5 into root 10 will become root 50 is equal to mod of k plus 2. Okay. So now mod of k plus 2 is equal to how to write this root 50? Root 50 can be written as under root of 25 into 2. So under root of 25 is 5. So root 50 can be written as 5 root 2. So just write it is 5 root 2. Now remove the mod. k plus 2 is equal to plus or minus 5 root 2. Now what is the value of k? What is the value of k we are getting? k is equal to minus 2 plus r minus 5 root 2. Minus 2 plus r minus 5 root 2. Now what we do? We will substitute k value in equation 1. Then we get the tangent. So that is, what is equation 1? x plus 3y plus k. So x plus 3y plus, what is k value? k value is, it is minus 2 plus r minus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. This is the required equation of tangent. So, this problem is completed. So, please practice these problems. These are very very important problems. And next class we will